This recording shows you some of the features of the Mathematica Help System. You can open the Help System from the Help menu with the Documentation Centre being a good place to start. I'm showing it here. The Documentation Centre opens with a home page. This gives an overview of links to a large number of other pages. It also has a field for entering links or search terms, back and forward buttons, a button to return to the home page and buttons to go to tables of contents. Many of the home page links go to guide pages. Guide pages are simple pages that contain a brief description and links to other resources. You can see that it is a guide page because the help URL at the top contains the word guide. Many of the links from the guide page go to function pages. Function pages are a key element of the documentation with information on individual Mathematica functions. The elements of the page are basic usage information with more detailed usage information in this section here. So here for example we can see the options. Underneath are a large collection of examples. These range from basic simple ones to those that use quite involved advanced features. These examples are often a good way to get started using a command. Remember that the material in the help system is all in notebook documents so you can copy material for your own purposes copy and then I could paste it into my own notebook. You can also modify and rerun the examples. Any changes that you make will not be stored. This exploratory work can help you to give a feel for what the function actually does. There are many examples all of which show different aspects of the function. So for example here we have examples that show each of the options of the function. Quite useful. At the bottom of the page we have links to related functions and then here we have links to a third element of the documentation, tutorials. Tutorials have more text and describe groups of functions that have a common purpose. If you want to get a view of the context of each tutorial you can see them as they appear in the virtual book. Click on the virtual book which opens at the relevant section here. And then we can see the, the related tutorials in some sort of flow through like a book. One important section of the tutorials are the advanced topics. These go into many of the key functions of Mathematica in great detail. In fact, each topic is a complete book in its own subject. So here we can see some of the methods to do with ND solve and solving differential equations. If you want to browse through the functions in Mathematica then you might find the function navigator useful. This gives a table of contents, a tree view that helps you to navigate down to individual functions. Another key way to find information is with the search system. For this you simply enter your term into the input field and hit enter. It comes back with a collection of links. This first link goes to a guide page and the second link here goes to an advanced tutorial. From any page you've got little buttons at the top here to go to related information, related tutorials and also you can get at the individual um, URLs that you enter into the input field. Very often the input field contains the link to the page that you're looking at. It works pretty much like the URL in a browser. A final feature of the documentation is seen in these extra links down here. This one here takes us off to the documentation on the Wolfram website and this one here will show us any installed add-ons that we might have installed in our copy of Mathematica. Anyway, I hope that's been useful. Thank you.